great day today. I thought our players came out with great energy. I challenged them uh, in our meeting here this morning and making sure that they don't get caught up into how many number of days that we've been out here. Uh, our guys came out with great energy. Our, I think our defense is really doing well, particularly the defensive line. I think our offensive line is making some good strides forward there. Um, our lack of running backs have improved since the first week and uh, kind of challenged them also. So very pleased with the progress we're at. We still got a ways to go. It's a good thing we still got two weeks to go, and we'll have our guys ready to go on August 30th. Is that uh, strategic, the time that you're released in It seems like we get to the end of the game, guys, guys are looking for a little energy. Yeah, no, that was part of it, trying to do it right middle toward the end of it and all that and uh, kind of uplift their spirits a little bit and look forward to some things that's happening. And, uh, again, 18- to 22-year-old young men, you, you, you give them a little clothing or something like that, that gets them a little bit excited. And uh, it was uh, well done by really our whole staff and everybody there choosing what they had. So the, actually the captains end up uh, picking out the, the design of it and how they wanted to, uh, to do it, uh, our uniforms today. So a great job by them. <laughs> well, uh, I guess you can call it what they call it, the millennium <laughs> kids today and all that. Uh, so, again, you take everything in consideration. Uh, we don't always do what they ask, but uh, there are some things here with uniforms doesn't uh, bother me as far as being able to change things. We also got to give some credit here to, to Jeff Barber. Obviously, we have to have the funding and be able to do those things, and so we appreciate him allowing us to do that. Can I just ask you about Josh? Yeah. I know you've challenged him some here in the preseason in a couple areas. And can you just maybe speak to his progression here two weeks in? Well, he's done real well. We, we uh, really have talked about location of wherever he's throwing the football in any 7-on-7, seven seven, any 11-on-11 11 11 period. Uh, I'm actually evaluating him, and I'm putting that all down on a piece of paper so every day uh, he understands that uh, there's a percentage of evaluation, even though they may have a completion. But if the ball's not where it's supposed to be, then I'm marking him down as a minus. And uh, overall, he's really taken on that challenge. And uh, every day he's gotten better. And uh, he's playing at a, a very, very high level right now. Can you just talk about the wide receiver group? You had some guys with a lot of starts under their belt. How have they been progressing during camp? Uh, I feel very solid. I think uh, Peterson there, Darren Peterson, is really uh, uh, probably a guy that's really, really talented. Uh, he's improved on really uh, fine-tuning his routes at the top of the route. Uh, the other guy that's challenging is Shales. Dante Shales has played quite a bit for us, uh, wanting him to really come out and be a, a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more fluid in his routes. He has improved in that aspect of it and has improved on his speed, and the timing has gone well. Gabe Henderson has been really tremendous. He's probably the guy that's really been pretty steady and, and done what we were asking him to do, catching the ball, running his routes a lot more efficiently. Uh, so those three core guys are very strong, and another guy is Jaquan Glover. Uh, who's really the guy that's come on very, very strong. Didn't play a whole lot last year, but he's a key guy that's doing a lot of good things for us. And um, So I think the receiving core is solid. Uh, we got to get uh, one or two more guys to step up and be able to play because we are going to need more than three guys uh, to play as we go through the football season. How important is the passing game to what you all want to do on offense? Passing game is uh, very, very important. Uh, you know, we're a balanced attack, so, I mean, we're going to rely uh, up on the uh, passing game. Uh, if we're not able to do that, we got to be able to run the football. Uh, but we got to do the play action and all those things of that nature. So the passing game is very instrumental, and we feel very good about where we're at as far as our whole offensive side of the ball. Again, the old line, the tight ends, running back, fullbacks, receivers, and so on. You have an update on Gary Sampson, where he is injury-wise? Uh, injury-wise there, we're still going to uh, delay a little bit to see what his status is going to be. Uh, I think we got a shot. We're just going to wait and see what happens here toward the uh, uh, as we get into game week. Is there any chance you move Newman back to safety if, if he's out for any length of time? I guess anything's possible. Uh, we're not at the extent right at this point in time, uh, but uh, again, anything is possible. As you get set to start your third year here, you feel like, especially for the guys that have been in the program, that you know, they understand your expectations, your philosophy, and so forth. And this can kind of be one of those years where you turn the corner a little bit. Well, I think we've had a good uh, uh, two years since I've been here. I think anytime you can uh, share and win a title, it's, it's some good things happening. Uh, obviously, we have some things, expectations of trying to get into playoffs, and some of us, most of us, in our control, and some of us not in our control to a certain extent. We just got to win all our ball games. The right ball games, I should say, is more important. But I, I feel very good about our expectation. They know the expectation, and they've raised to the occasion. And I say that because of what they have done this summer. Uh, more about leadership and the way they've been talking about the leadership and the way that our guys have been responding. Just about 100% uh, were here in the summer. Uh, and they took charge of a whole lot of things and had a lot of good feedback from them. Uh, so that's what I'm talking about, not just the physical part of it, but a lot of the leadership and how they're handling things with each other.
Are you all working on North Carolina yet? Are you doing maybe just a couple periods every day, or how is that progressing? In terms uh, of the game? No, we have not at this point in time. Uh, special teams, maybe a little bit, but we haven't done anything offensive and defensively. We have two weeks to go, uh, so we'll start tinkering with that a little bit uh, next week.